Hey y'all, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Today we're going to do another catch and cook, and this time we're going to be cooking some pompano. I did a catch and cook pompano last year, but I got into a mess of them the other day out there with a can and tray. So I'm going to do another one. This time we're going to do it in the oven. So stay tuned, check out this clip of me catching some pompano. I'll see you guys at the cleaning table and in the kitchen. Check this out, y'all. <music> Pumping on. Yep, nice pumping on. Yep. All righty, good one. Go. Yeah. Left side or right side? Right out here in the channel. Nice pumping out, guys. All righty, it's a good one too. Guys, got another one on. We are definitely on a pompano bite. That is nice pompano. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice fish. That's a good one right there. Another solid pump now. Sweet. That's four in the box. Watch out that bubble. Awesome. Alright guys, I'm at the cleaning table. I got my pompano here. I got five nice pompano. And uh I clean pompano one way. I take the whole fillet off, and I leave the skin and scales intact. And that's pretty much how I do my pompano. And I cook them either on the grill or broiled. That's about the only way I do pompano. Very delicious fish. Very firm meat fish. Fairly easy fish to clean actually. Just come through like this, come back. And hopefully I come right off. And you can see they have a very opaque white meat and it is delicious. Basically, I'm gonna cut this off right here now. Take these pin bones out right here. Skin's a little tough, which is really good for cooking it on the grill. There you go, there's a finished piece. Clean it off real quick. And that's ready for the grill. It's a really nice piece of meat. You do the other side. If you have never tried pompano, it is outstanding, guys. It is so good. This is considered by many the best tasting fish in Florida.
some people like to keep the bodies and make stock out of it or different things, but I don't do that. There you go, you get skin on like that. You got a nice piece of meat, guys. All right, guys, here's all my finished pompano fillets. They look really good. Man, I can't wait to eat these things. These things are going to be so good. They are absolute awesome on the grill, guys. You got to try it on the grill or broiled. That's about the only way I know how to uh, cook pompano. And they're just absolutely excellent. You don't want to ruin this fish by frying it. You really miss out on the taste of the fish when you fry it. But this is the bomb right here, guys. I'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, guys, I got my pompano fillets here. So we're gonna do this real, real simple. Put a little bit of lemon juice on them. Just a little bit. You can use fresh whole lemons to squeeze it on there. That would probably be better than this uh, processed lemon juice. And then we're going to put a little bit of salt. And some black pepper. I like that. And then we're going to put some dollops of butter in here. This is a really simple way of cooking fish, but it's very tasty. And pompano is just really good. You ain't really got to doctor it up too much. But we are going to make a uh, pesto sauce to go on it afterwards. About like that. Alright. We're going to cover it up with some tin foil. Aluminum foil. And we're going to put it in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Okay, while our fish is uh, cooking, I'm going to go ahead and make up some pesto sauce. I'm not going to cook the fish with the pesto sauce. We're going to pour this on it afterwards. So she's got some uh, just some green pesto sauce. Get all this stuff out. Like that. Then we're gonna take some lemon juice. And we're gonna put it in the uh, little pesto container here. About, about that much. Shake it all around. Get all that stuff out. There you go. Now you got your lemon juice in here. Then we're going to put some olive oil. And like I've said before in my other videos, I do all this to taste. A little bit of salt. Some black pepper. And some Parmesan cheese. There we go. Let me just mix it all around. It looks about like that. And that's ready to put on our fish. Alright guys, our pumpkin is out of the oven. Ooh, does not look good. So I'll go ahead and grab one of these real quick. Just like that, man. Doesn't that look good? I'm going to flip it over. That way I can get the skin off. The skin will just come right off. Just like that. Alright, I got all the skin off my pompano. So I'm going to take my pesto sauce here, 
I'm just going to drizzle a little bit over top of it, like that. All right, let's go try this out. All right, guys, I got my pompano. Just like that. I'm going to take a good bite of it real quick. I already know it's going to be good. Pompano is outstanding. Wow. Damn. Holy cow. You guys, that is so good. I mean, that is so good. I mean, you can't ruin Pompano. It's good all on its own. Just the fish itself without anything on it. So I didn't really even need the pesto sauce on it. It is excellent, guys. Outstanding. Man. That is so good. Well, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it very much. I appreciate each and every one of you all for subscribing to my channel. You guys are awesome. And for all of you that have not subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And that little bell for notifications because I upload videos all the time on a pretty regular basis. And uh, you know, thumbs ups are always appreciated, guys. Once so I get to see you guys again soon here on the water, time to <laughs>